Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Team for Ben's YouTube page again. It is Andrew the Collect here, and Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, you know, all of it. Happy Holidays, and if you're not happy with Happy Holidays, then Merry shut the fuck up. So today I am doing something a little bit different. I have prepared, well not myself, but someone I know has prepared a gift for me to profile today. I'm not, I'm not sure what deck it is, I have an idea of what, of decks it could be, but who knows, we'll see, but for now, let's see what Santa has brought with us today. And if you guys like this little gift, a uh, little surprise gift idea for profiles, uh, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do it again next year or throughout the year on different occasions, but we'll see. So let's see what we have today. Aha! It is Gem Knights. This is actually one of my wife's decks. Um, so yeah, it's not the most competitive deck out there, or at least the most competitive deck for Gem Knights, but it's really, it's relatively decent and it's good for if you're um, playing on a budget or if you're playing casual or even at locals. But for now, let's just go right, uh, go right ahead and get into it. So to start out, So to start out with our normal monsters, we have three Tourmaline, three Gem Knight Garnet, and two Gem Knight uh, Lapis. I'm actually thinking about putting Lapis at three because of, because of the combos that we're going to get into later. But this is basically the, the standard ratio is three, three, and two of, of any of these. But I'm thinking about probably taking out one tourmaline and putting in a third lapis. So uh, just go ahead and do that for uh, for that profile. But if you're not familiar with the Gem Knights, they're basically like uh, new waged elemental heroes where they uh, focus on fusion summoning different monsters using certain um, uh, main deck monsters. So yeah, they're a fusion based archetype and they're a really good one. Now off to our Pringles. We have three uh, Gem Knight Obsidians and two Gem Knight Lazuli. Uh, their effects are relatively similar. Um, when they're sent to the graveyard by a card effect, um, um, Gem Knight Obsidian can special summon a um, level four or lower normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it, but Lazuli adds it to your hand. So they both have the same effect, but like I said, Lazuli adds from the graveyard and Obsidian specials from the, gra specials from the graveyard. And they're not once per turn, so if you're able to get multiples off in these turns, you can get some really good advantage there. Now for our searcher, we have three gem armadillos for searching out our gem knight monsters. Um, you could run tortoise. I don't run tortoise because it's a little slow because it's a flip monster and it only gets its effect when it's flip summoned. Um, but uh, gem knight armadillo is really good. I might actually take out one armadillo for the other la uh, lapis, but we'll see how the ratios go. And three crystal rose. This one is both Gem Knight and Melodious um, support. So what you can do is uh, once per turn, you can send a Gem Knight or Melodious monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and then this card's name and effects become uh, that monster's. You mainly do that to set up, uh, set up your graveyard and to get more fusion material. So let's say that you have um, a Garnet in your graveyard and you have Crystal Rose in your hand. You summon it out, use its effect to send Obsidian, and Rose get, uh, becomes uh, Gemini Obsidian. And Obsidian's effect, the one that you sent, will special summon out Garnet. And then from here, you can go into Link plays or Fusion plays if you have the uh, Fusion spell in hand. And since we run a sizable amount of normal monsters, we have uh, three Rescue Rabbit. Hand traps really do hurt this deck, um, but you do have ways of recoverability. Now off to the spells, we have their three Gem Knight Fusions. This card is abs is absolutely insane. I have won so many games mainly because of that, mainly because this card is not once per turn. Basically it's a fusion spell. It works like any other fusion spell where you can special summon out a Gem Knight Fusion monster by using materials from your hand or your graveyard. Um, I gotta adjust the lighting, there we go. Um, 
from your hand or from the field. But the real thing that makes it uh, so broken is that when it's in the graveyard, you can banish a Gemnite monster from your graveyard to add it back to your hand. Like I said, it's not once per turn. So if you have multiple materials, you can get out multiple fusions or just fusion climb into your bigger guys. And just as important is Absorb Fusion. This is both a searcher and a fusion, and a fusion all, in, all in one effect. So you activate it and then you add one Gem Knight card. So you can even add another Gem Knight fusion, a fusion spell. Um, add it to your hand and then within the same effect, you can fusion summon um, as if you, as, you know, as if you were using basic materials like, like Gem Knight fusion. So yeah, it's a searcher and it's a fusion spell. The only thing that I, I didn't really like about it is that it is once per turn. And you can't spe and um, and you can't special summon monsters the turn you activate it except Gem Knight monsters. So it kind of locks you into that, but that's no problem because our extra deck is literally filled up with Gem Knights. So it's not much of a hindrance. And then, like I said, since we are running normal monsters, three unexpected die. It's un unexpected die. Uh, it's really good. This plus uh, Rescue Rabbit or um, any other extender in this deck is full combo basically, or full board I should say. And since this is more of the monster OTK style strategy, I'm running Back Row Hate. Two Night Beam, two Cosmic, and one Harpy's Feather Duster. Just all the Back Row Hate that you can get without really um, taking away from your own strategies. I don't run Twin Twister, mainly because you can't. I don't really benefit from discarding, which you can arguably say that you can discard your fusion spell and then just banish a gem knife to add back to your hand. But if you don't have any gem knives in your graveyard, it, it's you basically can't recover it, which is why I run these ones because they basically are no cost. And then for the other one of's is one Regeki and one Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave, it's Call by the Grave, otherwise known as Begone Demon Child. Um, and like I said, hand traps really do hurt the stack. If they ash at, um, at a certain point, you can pretty much be dead in the water. And Regeki is just Regeki to bait out negates or clear up any vulnerable boards. Then the traps are just two Stormy Mirror Force. Uh, like I said, this deck is mainly the going second build. Um, so I, I might take these out for, you know, um, any of the Solemn Brigade, you can if you want, but I found success with the Stormy, it's just fine. Now off to the extra deck. Probably the most, one of the most important cards in the extra deck is their link monster, is Gem Knight Phantom Quartz. It's a link two, requires two gem monsters, so you can use gem armadillo with it. When it's uh, link summoned, you can add one gem knight card. Again, you can search out the fusion spell and add it to your hand. And then you can pay 1000 life points to fusion summon one gem knight fusion monster from your extra deck by, using, by sending materials that are either banished or in your graveyard back to your deck. That's absolutely broken. And like I said, with Absorb Fusion, the only hindrance is that it's, it is once per turn. But again, nowadays it's, it's, you know, it's reasonable for that with all the restrictions nowadays. Um, but it's bottom right and bottom left arrow is not like it matters because you're not running any other Link Monsters, but you know, it's still really good. Don't run any less than three. Speaking of not running any less than three, and for not hard once per turns is Lady Lapis Lazuli. Um, her materials are uh, one Gem Knight Lapis, which is why I'm thinking about, uh, which is why I want to bump up to a, a third Lapis. Um, and her effect is that when she, uh, um, when she is, uh, when she is, well, yeah, once per turn, you can send one Gem Knight monster from your main deck or extra deck to the graveyard, and then inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each special summon monster on the field. This is not a hard once per turn, it is a soft once per turn. Meaning if you get out multiples of her, you can just keep activating it and activating it and activating it. It's absolutely busted. And the whole center point um, around the FTK version of this, which this deck can pull off, but not as well because it's not mainly focused on the FTK. It's mainly focused on OTK in your opponent. It just has the ability to FTK as, as a plan B almost. So yeah. Really good, and don't run any less than three. Now for the other Gem Knights, we have two Zirconia. It's basically just a beat stick. Two Gem Knight Prismora. It's a. Tar um, it's unfortunately a target. Um, a target pop. Um, um, any card, face up card on the field, but it's still good removal in certain situations if you're going up against like cards in Imper like Imperial Order or Anti Spell Fragrance or any other Flight Gates that hinder your plays. 
And for the one ofs, we have one Gemini Citrine, it's an Ancient Gear Golem. Ruby, it's Piercing and Burst Damage. Topaz, it's a Double Attacker. And Gemini Lady Brilliant Diamond, um, she pretty much cheats out any of your um, extra deck f uh, fusion monsters by just sending a Gemini monster on your side of the field to the graveyard. Um, it does have a restriction that that monster can't attack, but it's not much of a restriction because she is an incredibly large booty. And one of the most important ones is Gemini uh, Master Diamond. This card's limited, and it's limited for the FTK reason. Its effect is that you can banish a Gemini uh, level 7 or lower Gemini monster from your graveyard, and its effects and name um, become Master Diamonds. Uh, hint, hint. So yeah, you once you basically go through all your Lapis Lazulis, um, you summon out Master Diamond and you use its effect to banish out Lady Lapis Lazuli and use the effect again to burn your opponent mostly for gain. If, um, if you're not able to, you know, recycle your Lapises um, off of it. But yeah, that is the Gem Knight deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let us know if you liked the style of just being, you know, completely surprised by what deck profile you were going to get from us. We might do it more on different occasions throughout the year, like I said. Um, definitely, you know, during the next holiday season, a year from now. But guys, thank you so much for all your continued support during during 2021. It's been a crazy year, an even crazier previous year, as you guys obviously know. Um, so sorry for all, a lot of the delays lately. We've just been really busy with um, family stuff and personal lives and everything. But coming into the new year, we have a lot of new ideas coming to flourishing, and we guys hope you will enjoy that. But anyways, stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Please be safe out there, have a merry, happy holidays, and we'll catch you guys later.